Donald Trump. I guess four times the charm, right? Because um, right now, this could be the week. Um, I'm expecting that this week is probably the week that we are going to see the fourth now indictment brought against the former president of the United States, Donald Trump, in my home state of Georgia. So if I'm not here next week, um, you'll know where I'm at. We'll see. Um, because this is taking place not too far from me. It's taking place just down in the city. I do live in, in Atlanta. So um, they are bringing charge. They're expected. So they, they pulled the grand jury a couple weeks ago. And now they're expected to bring uh, anti like uh, Rico, Rico violations against Donald Trump for interfering in the 2020 election the Georgia's, Georgia's 2020 election, right? And yes, I, I will be there to cover it for the post-millennial, taking videos and doing all that stuff if and when this takes place. And one of the reasons, um, like, they've, yeah, they've been pushing this. So if you don't, I mean, it, it basically comes down to, I think, the phone call where he wanted to get the votes in Georgia, um, it was during the whole process where he was trying to get um, them to launch investigations into each state. Um, let me see. And basically everybody's saying, yes, they are probably going to do this. But we put it out today. Um, but so it was put out yesterday. This is this is the biggest thing. To me, and obviously this is from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The roads near the courthouse actually were closed today. Today, um, they were, after ye yesterday was the last day that they were going to be open through the end of the month, I believe. Um, because, yeah, starting today... The length of Prior Street between Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, which is actually where the Capitol is right there, too, um, and Mitchell Street, will be closed until August 18th. The shutdown comes out as the in comes in anticipation of possible local indictment of former President Donald Trump under investigation by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis for his efforts to overturn the presidential election in Georgia 2020. Um, they started, like, you see that they started actually laying out, like, rows of barricades and everything like that along the street. Um, people are starting to show up already um, in, in anticipation of this. Um, it's, it's crazy, right? I mean... Donald Trump tweeted last week, he only needs one more to win the presidential election. That's like all he needs. And it's going to be this one in Georgia. We've known this is coming. I think I talked about this um, a few weeks ago on the channel, but um, it says they're starting today through at least the 18th. Um, which means that within probably the next 10 days, we're going to see Donald Trump down in Georgia being arraigned on these RICO charges. It's, it's just insane. Like, how do you bring charges like this in the middle of a presidential election? Um, bring charges like this. I mean, if this isn't election interference, then I don't know what is like, Wait, you know, they had four years or three years now to bring these charges. And they're just now bringing them up. Why? I think Donald Trump's right when he says that they are bringing up these charges simply because he is running for office.